Okay, so I've been working on this new storage box for my trailer. Been working on it here and there a little bit at a time and I'm hoping to wrap it up soon, but rather than wait, I figure I'd do a little video now on what I'm doing. And then when I finish it, I'll come back and show you the final product and what it looks like. I've had this trailer, this is a six by eight runaway Venturous. I've had it for about a year and a half now, put maybe like 11,000 miles, 50 nights of camping in it. It's working out great. Uh, but when my whole family comes along, I'm kind of short on storage. And up until now, I've been throwing all the crap in here. And then I get to camp, I pull it all out, I set it up. Then it goes back in here when I'm done. Now, part of the problem with that is, you know, I got a lot of stuff to move. I got to cram it all in here. It involves more setup time. You know, I got things like my chairs my uh, gazelle gazebo my ac unit that comes out cooking gear all this stuff so it kind of piles in here um i used to have a toolbox up front that was working out well but one of the other limitations is when it's bad weather i'm packing all that crap up in the rain i got to put it back here wet and dirty and it just i'm trying to create a division between the living area and the storage area for all those bigger things, those outside things. So I figured I'd give a crack at building something myself. Now, I am not a skilled tradesman or a carpenter or anything like that. I'm just a regular Joe that sits at a desk all day. I wanted to keep it simple, nothing more than screwing, sawing, uh, sanding, and painting. Now, the first thing I did was rather than deal with doors myself, which would be the most complicated part of building this box, I just went ahead and bought some pre-made RV storage compartment doors. Now I picked both of these up on Amazon. They were about $150 each. That set me back 300 bucks for the doors. They are 24 inches wide and 36 inches high. That is just big enough to fit everything I wanted in there, including my refrigerator, my toilet, and a generator and some other boxes. So I constructed the box out of three quarter inch plywood. I don't recall the type. I think it was, it wasn't a full pressure treated yellow wood. I think it was like CDX or something like that. And then I put a couple coats of waterproofing material in there. I caulked it all up, uh, screwed everything, sanded, tried to do the best I could with it. And then I coated it in two coats of Raptor liner. Now you can get Raptor liner on Amazon. It is basically a do-it-yourself bed liner product. So you spray it on there and it gives it a rough uh, textured coating. It's supposed to be waterproof. Now, most of the reviews I've read online, people have generally favorable reviews of it. They said it holds up well. Some people say it doesn't. So, you know, I'm just gonna play it by ear and see how it holds up. I don't expect this box to last 10 years. I probably won't even have the trailer in 10 years. So if I get two or three years of use out of it, I'm pretty happy. I figure I've spent about 600 bucks on this. So that's not too bad considering the additional storage it gives me. Now I do plan to put a shelf up here when I'm done. So I will have multiple levels. Uh, my fridge will be just enough to fit down here. I may put a slide out, some other things. I think I'm going to seal off a compartment over there to put the toilet on that side in case there's any smells. It'll stay over there. And we'll probably have a generator down the middle that comes out when I need it. The AC unit will go right over there. And my chairs and other things will slide up here on top. Now, the last thing I have to do is extend the tongue. I have not got around to that yet. I have not mounted the box yet. It's just sitting up here. I'm kind of flushing it out. I got an eight inch tongue extender, which according to my calculations will give me just enough to give me the proper turning radius. Um, this should be sufficient. If not, later down the line, we can fully weld and extend the tongue. So as I said, this is just a quick video to show you what I'm working on. I hope to have this finished up after my trip from Costa Rica and um, have it fully mounted, take it on some off-road trails, see how it handles, and we'll take it from there.